Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nathan Nice for those of you who are new to the channel and I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. This is part two of my March book haul. If you haven't seen part one, definitely check it out. I basically shared with you guys the books that I personally purchased and spent money on. And now this go, I'm going to be showing you guys all the books that I got for review. And this is not a video to brag. I am very blessed to have um, been able to do book reviews. Um, I'm a book nerd, a book lover. I used to review different types of books um, in the fiction industry, such as romance books and um, young adult fiction. But I've recently been just filling a pull to get more so into Christian fiction books and nonfiction books. Um, so I've had the opportunity to request and review some books. So these are just what I got so far for this month. I do have some every month coming in the mail. So yeah, um, I had to sip on my seat, my tea and I'm drinking pineapple Kona pop from tea bottle. I'm so mad that they're closed, but, um, yeah, pineapple Kona pop, but like I said, this is not to brag whatsoever. I'm just sharing with you guys what books that I get and um, sharing with you guys ways that you guys can also request books for review. I will leave links to all of the sites that I got the books from so you guys can therefore yourselves go and um, sign up. Some of these you do need, they do require you to have a blog just because you're reviewing it and um, you're requesting to review it on a blog. So just keep that in mind. The first company I'm going to talk about is Moody Publishers. Now, I have four books from them that I technically requested, but only three are here. The fourth one is in the mail somewhere. I don't get tracking on these, so they come when they come anywhere between one to three weeks. So I'll put um, a picture of that book here. The book is called Lies Young Women Believe, and it's by Nancy DeMoss. Um, it's coming in the mail. I got the workbook because I thought it would be cool to get that um, because I'll be requesting the actual physical books this week. Um, for these but um that was the first book that I have and then I have this one which is lies women believe um, and the truth that sets them free by Nancy DeMoss and this is the adult version of the young woman one and I got both just because even though I'm 26 I'll be 27 this year I still think it'd be a great one to have for personal use as well as if I decide to mentor younger girls um, I prefer to uh, I guess share my knowledge with older women but um, I don't know I feel like there is gonna come a point soon where I'm going to mentor younger girls and I figured that book would be a great one to have and I can make copies of it and use it to help me help other women if, young women if that makes sense but um, this one I personally got for myself um, to study so I have that and this is the updated and expanded edition so and the inside looks like lots it's really cute and this does go along with the book, so you do need to have the book, which um, I'm going to be getting my hands on the actual book. I have an ebook of it, but I want the physical book, so I'll be requesting that soon. But that's the first one. Then I have I Am Found, Quitting the Game of Hide and Seek with God and Others by Laura Dingman. It is a six-week Bible study. I hauled another one of her Bible studies last month. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but I did haul it, and it was cute. It was like this light blue with um, little rocks on it. Um, but this one is looks like this. And it says, we are all made for connection, but many of us live with walls up and hearts closed. What would it take for us to let go and stand tall and unashamed? And um, this is a six-week Bible study on shame and identity, which explores how you can own your stories, trust God's affection, and relate honestly with him and others. So I do build walls. I do have my shame and regret at times, but... Um, you know, I've learned to overcome them somewhat. So I thought this would be a great study to do for myself personally. And then the last one, I'm not going to lie, was a request because of the cover. I, it was a cover request. But um, it's an eight-week Bible study called Who Do You Say That I Am? A Fresh Encounter for Deeper Faith by Becky Harling. I love the cover. It is stunning. But on the back, it says, Do you long for a faith that moves mountains? Um, and who do you say that I am? You will explore some of the toughest questions Jesus asks and his revolutionary answers, his I am statements. As you encounter Jesus, don't expect to walk away unchanged. Discover the truths that move Becky from neediness to satisfaction, from fear to trust, from doubt to praise. Who do you say that he is? How you answer will shape the trajectory of your life. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to really dive into this. I love the cover. The color purple just really screams out to me. It reminds me of God, royalty, Jesus, and also prayer. So, um, it was gorgeous. And the inside is just as pretty. 
if I can find it, I can't. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's nice. So, the next book I have... Uh, it's sad because I got it from Blogging for Books. And, um, Blogging for Books is no longer open. Um, their website is now shut down, if I'm not mistaken. They decided that they weren't going to do physical copies anymore that you can only request ebook copies through NetGalley which I will leave a link to their NetGalley um, site or page I guess NetGalley page for you to request books but um this was the last purchase or the last request that I made for a physical copy from them and um it's sad because I really did like blogging for books but I mean I understand a lot of people are becoming technical and prefer ebooks I myself am an ebook reader I love ebooks just because I can have so many books on one device um, rather than carrying a physical book but there's something about a physical book for me that really just makes the reading experience so fun but that's just me as a book lover and a book nerd and a library lover I'm just saying but um, I got this one from Stephen Furtick and he is a pastor of Elevation Church it is Seven Mile Miracle Journey into the presence of God through the last words of Jesus. And it looks like this. And this is basically kind of like a Good Friday read. It's all about the seven short statements that he made. So words of forgiveness, salvation, relationship, abandonment, distress, triumph, and reunion. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I probably should have read this during Good Friday for Easter, you know? But, I mean, Resurrection Sunday. But, uh, yeah. It's about the death and resurrection of Jesus. So can't wait to dive into that from him the next two i got are from tindall and um this first one i got because i do have a devotional from her already and the person i'm talking about is ellen miller she is the author of this and it's spread too thin opting out of frantic living opting into lasting peace love 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 the cover um it says life these days it's exhausting isn't it and no wonder uh she wrote spread too thin just for you and this is basically a 90-day devotional that offers an honest look at the obligations that drain us and then points us to a more abundant life with Jesus. So um, I got this because I do have a devotional from her that I'm reading this year, which you guys saw in my Devo video. And it's this one, The One Year Inspiration for Girlfriends. And I've been loving this devotional from Ella Miller. I've been loving it, so um, I definitely wanted to request another devotional from her. And I personally love devotionals. I'm a devotional junkie, so that's that it does have questions and stuff you can answer and whatnot so i can't wait to dive into this the next book i got is a devotional but i'm not gonna lie this was specifically a cover request because it looked so pretty and i didn't expect it to look this pretty in person you guys like ugh. this is so pretty so pretty here it is it is a 366 devotion, um, so a leap year kind of devotional. It's God's call to a deeper life, unveiling and embracing the depths of his love by Nancy Taylor. <sighs> okay, first of all, I love roses. I love florals. I love rose gold. I like pink. And I think pink and white are cute. So this is like everything in one that I like. <sighs> Stunning. And the back is even gorgeous, like... The end pages are stunning. I mean, oh, I love it. I love it. Then you have this cover page for every month. It comes with a bookmark, which looks like that. I mean, this is a stunning girly book, and this is a book that I will be putting on my bookshelf. I mean, not my bookshelf, keeping on my desk. I don't know where yet. Um, I'll probably figure it out when I get a new laptop since my laptop can't be moved. But, um, ugh, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning book. I love this. Sorry again if you hear my family. The next five books are from Lifeway. Um, actually, they're from BH Blogger, but BH Blogger works with Lifeway to give out the books to their book re book reviewers. So the first item, I'm going to actually do a flip through of because I love it so much. Even to the point where I actually ended up ordering a copy to give away for my future mommy and me giveaway that I'm working on. This is a great and small Bible. It is a keepsake Bible for babies. And um, it comes in this gorgeous gift box. The Bible itself looks like this. It is so stinking adorable and cute. The spine. Sorry about that, you guys. My mom is super loud. My siblings are loud. I don't understand. But um, here's the back. It just has a scripture on it. And um, this is a full text in the CSV translation. It is also red letter text. But what I like is that this has little pictures throughout that are like so cute. And the pictures go with the scriptures. But um, 
it's a keepsake Bible in that there are questions that you can answer about your newborn baby in here from the time that they're born until like their year so like their favorite toys and favorite songs and books so I'm gonna keep this for myself because I do eventually want a second child um, I definitely do want a baby another one I do want my son to have a sibling um, and my son has actually been asking for a baby sister so um, I definitely do but not until my fiance and I get married of course so I decided to keep this one for myself and I actually purchased a new copy um, to add into my giveaway but the next book is called When We Say Father by uh, Adrian and Steve Rogers. It is Unlocking the Power of the Lord's Prayer. Anything that deals with, deals with prayer, I've been into so much. Um, I talked about this in the first part of the haul. Prayer is something that God has been calling me to a lot more, so I have that. Then this is uh, Becoming a Welcoming Church by Tom S. Rayner. And this actually got me. So it says, most church members don't see their churches clearly. In almost all of Tom S. Rayner's con consultations, church members perceived their church to be friendly, but as he surveyed guests, he found that guests typically saw church members as unfriendly. The perception chasm existed because members were indeed friendly to one another. That made so much sense, and um, I thought it would be an interesting read because I totally agree with that. I think when you go to a new church and you're um, not a member of the church, you don't feel like the church members are friendly to you, but they're very friendly to each other. And I mean, I witnessed that myself when my church goes, when we go out to um, minister and worship with other churches, you can definitely see the divide between my church and their church and how we are with e within our own churches compared to how we are with other, with like communicating with one another. So um, I definitely thought that was a good book um, to per to request. So I got it. Then this book here, I already requested on NetGalley and got approved, but I saw that they had it on BH Blogger for review, so I requested a physical copy and I actually ordered a second copy. But um, this is Kayla Amy's In Bloom, Trading Restless Insecurity for Abiding Confidence. And isn't the cover gorgeous, you guys? I really like how the flower just pops. I oh, love this book so much. It's going to be so good to read. Um, I can't wait to read this. I can't. Like, I just, I'm excited. I'm excited. I have the arc of it, but to have a physical copy now of this, I'm excited. So that's that book. Um, and I'll read the back. Um, it says, every woman is intimately acquainted with feelings of insecurity and inadequacy. Um, whether fueled by a culture of makeover shows, by the lingering mem memories of mean girls, or by events much more wounding to the soul, we can become so conditioned by self-doubt that it becomes our inner monologue. Um, it says, to every woman who longs for belonging, this journey through Kayla's inviting prose and biblical promises and journaling prompts will help guide her from restless insecurity to a beautiful becoming. So I can't wait to get into this. I didn't know they were journaling prompts because I'm a journaler myself. I love journaling. So um, I'm excited for this. The last one from BH is Words of Grace, a 100-day devotional by Scott Patty. And I like how simple this looks. Like, it's really simple. The cover is really smooth um it just has a nice pop of gold for you on the outer portions oh. sorry about that that was my speaker <laughs> but it says just as the body needs bread to the so the soul needs grace sorry just as the body needs bread so the soul needs grace the word of god is full of grace-filled words and is nourishment for our souls god's word is grace and prayerful meditation on the word is an act of faith by grace through faith we press the word of god into every day into our everyday lives so this is a pastor's encouragement i'm guessing um scott patty is a pastor um it says it's a pastor's encouragement written for written with a congregation in mind to build a life centered on god's word the goal of this book is your flourishing faith and fruitful obedience to god so that's that and i am stunned by the cover itself it's gorgeous so i can't wait to dive into this um, here's what the end cover looks like, the end pages, and itself, oh, there's a bookmark, I didn't know, there's a bookmark, it's white, um, but basically you get a devotional here, and then on the back you have the actual scripture typed out, so I think that's going to be a good one to dive into, and the last four books I got are from, um, 
what is this company? Hold on. <laughs> the last four books are from Baker Publishing Group. But Baker Publishing Group has, I think, four or five or maybe even more different divisions. So I have books from three of their divisions. So the first division that I have from Baker Publishing Group is Baker Books. And um, the first thing I have here is the Baker Compact Dictionary of Biblical Studies by Tremper Longman III and Mark L. Strauss. Here is what that looks like. And um, I'm not going to lie. I requested it because all I saw was dictionary. I didn't know until I got it that this was not a kind of layman kind of dictionary. This is not for the ordinary churchgoer. This is more of an academic kind of dictionary. Um, there are terminologies in here. There are biblical terms and topics in here. I mean, this goes really deep into the history, and it's an interpretive backdrop. Um, it's definitely for those who are in, you know, school for theology or seminary school. But I do personally find this good for myself. Um, I've been enjoying this book. Uh, I wish that I was in seminary school to use it more often, but I definitely do say if you're looking for something to deepen your faith, to understand the Bible more, to understand the different terms and topics and terminologies, definitely get your hands on this. It looks like a really good book. Um, I have, like I said, read through it, used it. I, read, I wrote a review on it. I'll leave it down below, but um, that's that one. The next book is called Activate, an entirely new approach to small groups by Nelson Searcy and Carrot Thompson with Jennifer Dykes Henson. Um, and it says build a small group ministry with 100% participation. So I got this specifically for the simple fact that I have Daughter of Increase on the YouTube channel. But I also have a Facebook group that I created where I want to be able to cultivate a family um, of women where we can study the word together. We can mentor each other. We can really dive into the word of God together. And this book just seemed like it. It basically was a book that popped up in my email at the right time that I requested. It's called Activate. So I can't wait to um, dive into this. I think I have a review on this already, if I'm not mistaken. Can't remember. But yeah, Activate. The next book I have here is Love Like You've Never Been Hurt by Jetazine Franklin. I'm probably butchering his name. Here it is. Here's what that looks like. It says, Hope, Healing, and the Power of an Open Heart. Um, this is a book that I needed to request because... Um, I do and still struggle with a lot of unforgiveness and pain from the past. Um, it's not as bad as it used to be, but I still struggle with it every now and then. Um, and I'll read what it says on the back. It says, the pain you feel today is a pain you can heal. It's no secret that those who are closest to us can wound us the most profoundly. Reeling from betrayal, we build walls around our hearts to protect us from heartache. Yet these are the very walls that block us from seeing hope, receiving healing, and feeling love. Um, so... This is all about just healing and forgiving, and it's something that I need, so that's the book. And the last book I have, oh, sorry, this book is from Chosen, which is another division of the Baker Publishing House, or Publishing Group. And then this last one I got from Bethany House, which is another part of uh, the division of Baker Publishing. This one is called Courageous Women of the Bible, Leaving Behind Fear and Insecurity for a Life of Confidence and Freedom. It is by Leighton Roland Murphy. And um, this says, learn to live, love, and lead courageously as you boldly choose to trust God. This book focuses on a few women. I'm going to run you guys through the names of these women. If I could find the names of these women. Where'd it go? Okay, now I can't find what I'm looking for, which is insane. Okay, so it goes through Deborah, the woman with the issue of blood, the Shunammite woman, and the Shulamite woman. The mother of Moses, which I can't pronounce. I'll put her name on the screen. It goes through Mary, the mother of Jesus. Bathsheba, Abigail, the widow with the two coins. The Samaritan woman, and then also Jael. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll put that name on the screen as well. But it dives into that. It says, whether you're facing struggles with singleness, the mounting challenges of marriage and motherhood, health issues, a financial crisis, God has equipped you to walk in freedom and confidence as you abide in him, strengthened by his power and provision through the stories of 11 brave women of the Bible who made faith-filled choices that positioned them for success. So, um, yeah, this actually, I love that she gives different types of women um, whether it's a single woman or a mother or a married woman or someone with health issues or dealing with financial crisis. I love that she does this um, that way and she really looks for different women of the Bible. So um, I'm excited to read this book. Um, here's the cover once more. It's really pretty. I love how simple it looks. 
But yeah, those are all the books that I have received for review. I can't wait to dive into them. Some of them I've peeked into here and there, but I'm going to have to read a lot of these because I have reviews that are due. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. Again, if you haven't seen part one, click the on screen for that, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!